Most of the Belgrade's attractions are easily accessible by foot, but to save time, unless you can <laughs> teleportation, I recommend you grab an unlimited tourist transit pass for one, three, or five days. The best transit app is Move It, and yes, it's free. So we're gonna start a journey right here at the Republic Square. And this is also home to some of Belgrade's most recognizable and historical buildings. The Republic Square is Belgrade's central square and the main gathering point for the locals and visitors alike. The square occupies an area of 120 meters and is surrounded by important landmarks such as the National Theater, the Jordan Cinema, and the Serbian Army House, the monument to the Prince Mialo, and many others. The square in its form today originated in 1866 after Stample Gate had been torn down and built in its place the National Theater. The gate was built at the beginning of the 18th century by the Austrians, in the spot between today's Prince Miano Monument and the theater. In its day, the construction was considered one of the most grandiose and beautiful of that time, when Belgrade was still surrounded by a ditch. This is where the famous road leading to Constantinople, or today's Istanbul, which was how it got its name. Still, regardless of its beauty, the Stamboul Gate didn't remain in the pleasant memory for Serbian people, but rather as a place where Turks would execute their prisoners. The square is also home to many historical significant events, including the battle for the city's liberation in 1806. It was said that before the final breach of the fort, one of the soldiers promised to his comrade that he will sing from the top of the tallest Turkish canyons, signaling their victory. I'm also forecasting a landslide victory for myself. I have promised my Serbian friends if I become the president of Serbia, everyone in the country will get free chocolate cookies every single day during my term. So just 10 minutes away on foot, I'm going to meet my future home at the center of the political power. It's the House of National Assembly of the Republic of Serbia. The cornerstone was laid in a public ceremony in 1907 by King Peter I at the presence of other members of the loyal family and senior officials. Construction lasted until 1936, interrupted by the Balkan War, World War I, and the Great Depression. The first session in the new house took place on 20th of October 1936. The house was originally designed by architect Konstantin Yanovich in 1891, but since crowdfunding didn't exist back then, the financial constraint prevented its construction. A new design was proposed by Jan Yanovich in 1901 after constitution amendment and the creation of bicameral parliament. The 13,800 square meter building is designed in a neo brock style. Its interior, completed in 1938, was designed by the Russian architect Nikai Kozlov. Today, the individual visit is available every first Saturday of every month, with tour includes National Assembly House, the New Palace, and the seat of the President of Serbia. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> but if politics is not your cup of tea, how about a glass of wine, beer, or spirit? Uh, even better, let's just party. And I'm heading with my new friends to the Trinity's area of Belgrade, the Stamala. Actually, this area was abandoned and empty since five years ago. And now we can present the country. The life is uh, bring back again to this old part of the town. Located in the shallow of Branko's Bridge on the right bank of Slava River, which gives the first part of his name. The second part of the name comes from the Turkish word Malaha, which means neighborhood. 
Slavmala is one of the first Serbian neighborhoods established in the 18th century and the main street is Karasvahelja and was named after the leader of the first Serbian uprising. During the reign of the Prince Milos Ovevic, which decided to transform this area into a modern city modeled by the architecture of the European cities such as Vienna or Budapest. As a result, the modern construction process was used with beautiful facade edited in the artificial stones. Slamala is the undisputed queen of Belgrade's nightlife. As over the past decade, it became one of Belgrade's most popular night spots, especially during the winter when Slav or Club on the River are closed. But for tonight, let's cheer with Serbia's national drink. Well, this is my first Serbian drink here, and this is a very traditional Serbian drink. It's Ricky, made of plum, and it's 40%. With that being said, let's cheer. The Savilica or Rohija is made from distillation of fermented fruit with alcoholic content ranging from 40 to 60%. So make sure to enjoy it responsibly.